With these last couple of hours remaining, voters in Denton tonight could decide if the police should pass over situations of low-level amounts of marijuana possession. Fox Force Dion Anglin spoke to voters today. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, 90 minutes to go before the polls close and voters here in the city of Denton could have uh, a hand at relaxing the laws where it concerns marijuana possession and what defines it as a crime. If voters pass Proposition B, law enforcement in the city of Denton would be directed to ignore low-level marijuana possession up to four ounces. I know people who are in jail for marijuana right now, but it's a million dollar industry. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's a big thing. Um, that's, my, that's my stand on it. I don't think it should be a crime, no. I don't. You've never seen a person on pot, no matter how high they get. Uh, cause a problem. The current city ordinance makes anything over two ounces a punishable criminal offense. We found voters on both sides of the issue. I didn't vote for it. I voted against it. Do you feel like any amount should be a crime? That's right. Drugs are bad. Any use of marijuana is a crime. They should keep it for the hospital to treat people for sickness. The group decriminalized Denton secured 3,000 signatures to land a spot on the ballot for the proposed city law. Only 1,700 were required. Nick Stevens says that is just one indicator of how confident the group is that it will pass. We're doing this honestly because it's a justice issue. Um, black, brown, and white residents all use cannabis at the same rates, but despite that fact, it's black and brown residents that are disproportionately incarcerated in the city of Denton. That's got to stop. Stevens says the decriminalized Denton movement has worked hard to educate Denton voters and pre-election polling has leaned in its favor. Youth voter turnout is through the roof in Denton. I feel very good about, you know, celebrating tonight at 7. Now, also noteworthy, Stevens tells me if Prop B passes and once the election is certified, the group will meet with the chief of police here in Denton as well as the city manager to discuss moving forward with enforcement.